Hi, I'm John Halloran, and I'm going to teach you how to back your vocabulary up onto a jump drive. So if you have a USB drive like this in your house and you want to back up your vocabulary, this is how you do it. It's real simple when you're using uh, Empower. You start by touching this menu button right here. So there's your first step, menu. Your second step is to go to the toolbox, and I'm sorry you can't see that as well as I wish, but right there it says toolbox. And once you're here, you'll see when it says system settings right here, third one down. And it makes sense because it says import export right there. And then now you have to make a decision. I want you to know that when you're exporting, you're saving to the USB stick. You could do a keyboard, which probably most of you aren't doing, or you could do just certain pages. But what you want to do is a whole user area. That very first one where it says export a user, that transfers all your vocabulary and all your settings. So choose files. And it looks, it looks onto your device and finds if you have more than one user area, you would see that. Then you say export. And it knows to go to that jump drive. And then you get to, it's already got a name there. You could change that if you wanted to, and you hit save. And right now I'm saving that uh, to that jump drive. It's that simple. Export succeeded. So it's then I close. Now I've backed up my the individual's vocabulary. So if I ever had trouble in the future, I would do almost the same steps. So now I've got that jump drive saved. Maybe I even email that file to somebody or store it on another hard drive or whatever, or you could store it on your computer. Now you want to, you, something's happening, you want to get that back. You just do the same steps. Menu, redraw so you can see it, toolbox, system settings, import, export, but this time, look right here where this says export, where it's blue, you're going to touch the import one. And it says import a user area, which is what you want. It looks right to that file that you have plugged in. It sees that jump drive. And when you touch it, that's a, you could rename it, give it a new name if you want to. And now I just am importing a new user area, which will end up being based on that backup on my own system, which isn't a bad idea either. Now on my device, I have two systems. I have one user area called CCC and one JH. And if this one was messed up, I could switch to this one, even on my own system. So I hope that makes sense. So that's really simple. Just get a jump drive, plug it into the side. When you're looking at the handle on your left-hand side, you'll find a port to plug it into, and then follow those steps, and you'll be able to save and back up your vocabulary as needed. I hope that helps. Thank you.